How you doing, everyone? It's your old pal Jim here, and we're back with more of Coffee Talk. Now, um... Hi. Hmm. Uh, when we last left off, uh, we were, uh, d doing the, uh... Doing the coffee thing, and, uh... Uh, serving a lot of people, uh, and, um, yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm, I'm, uh, I, I, it's been a while. I, if, if you can't tell, I was sick, uh, sick. Let me try that again. I was sick recently, so, um, I'm m more or less recovering, uh, but, you know, I'm starting to feel a whole lot better. I'm just gonna go ahead and play. <clears throat> Welcome. Yo. A cup of honey milk, please. Right away. Dot. All right. Honey milk, eh? Uh, where's the honey? Well, the base is going to be milk, of course. There we go. And then honey. What? I'm, uh, I'm going to check my brew pad just in case there's what's the honey milk and uh, whatnot. Uh, are you kidding me? You're not going to tell me how to make honey milk? I mean, it's not going to be a... Okay, I, I sincerely doubt it's going to be milk, honey, and milk. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. Uh, coffee, coffee, coffee. Green tea, milk, milk. Coffee, coffee, ginger. Would it... Would it... Oh, man. Uh, reset. So it would be milk... It would be milk, milk, and then the ingredient, wouldn't it? I mean, coffee, coffee, ginger, green tea, milk, milk. Coffee, coffee, milk. Coffee, milk, milk. And then honey, I guess. I'm pretty sure that's how it is. Well, we'll, we'll find it. We're, we're, we're going to find out together if that's the right thing to do or not. So let's go. Brew it. All right, brew it. All right, one honey milk, yay! Your honey milk is ready. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, dot dot. <clears throat> uh, uh, well, I guess I'm back to counting coffee beans. One, two, a three, a four. Hey, hey whoa. Hey, Jim. There seems like there's a cat. Oh! <laughs> oh my god, she got in with me. Kitty! It's a kitty. <laughs> Relax, it's okay. Hey, kitty cat. What are you looking for? Want some milk? Oh. Oh! Oh! <laughs> Hi, Brista. Yes, I'd love some milk. Oh, holy! <laughs> you look like you've seen a just seen a ghost. No, I mean, I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. It's been a while since the last time I saw a Neko Mimi transforming. Oh, that that that's the thing, I guess. We rarely do that in public. I guess you don't have that many Neko Mimi friends. I, I won't say I have. You folks usually use your feline form to commute. If, if I'm not mistaken. That's right. Well, commuting as a cat sounds more practical. That's her, not me. <laughs> than commuting as a hum... I mean, than commuting as a bipedal form. Kind of. Anyway, before we continue, can I have my milk, please? Ah, yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> what kind of milk do you want? Just milk. No additional stuff or anything? No milk and nothing. No, milk and nothing else. Okay. Milk, milk, and... Um, milk? Here we go, yeah, brew! 
It's not really brewing, it's just serving some milk is all. Milk. <laughs> there you go. Fresh milk for the lady with the pretty smile. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> my mouse went off. I was like, huh, what happened? Thank you. Are you hitting on an underaged girl? I was just giving her a compliment. Thank you for the compliment. Looking at me like that. I don't even know what's going on, man. It's really good. It's milk. <laughs> You're welcome. What's a young girl like you doing alone this late? I'm not a young girl. I'm a grown-up who can take care of herself. Oh, look at that rump. <laughs> Uh, you don't look like a grown-up. What? I'm 18. Yeah, that's exactly what I'd call too young. Well, I'm not an old lady like you, for sure. Hey, 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 hey. Besides, I've been earning a living since I was 13 years old. So I'm definitely not a kid anymore. How? Are you- I'm sure you know. Uh... Eh, uh, I- I don't. Oh my- Are you- Just say it. If this is something illegal... <laughs> or if you're in danger... Blink twice. Really? Harumph? What a- With a cute face like mine? Exactly! Seriously, you never seen me on TV or social media? Well, I don't want to sound like a snob, but I don't watch mainstream media. Puffed, snob. Part of the broke but woke movement, I see. I don't know what's happening. I just serve coffee and milk, apparently. I had got nothing to do with this. You must be the broke part. Uh, that's just rude. I don't see you ordering any drinks. What? Too broke for a cup of coffee? Ha <laughs> Why am I laughing? <laughs> she's your friend, man. Uh, she's not that great for business, no. Oh, really? Sometimes I wonder. Could this coffee shop survive without me? What are you waiting for, Grandma? Make your order. Is this kid some kind of... Is this some kind of maid cafe experiment or something? So, what do you want to order? The usual. Uh... So let's pretend it's been a while. Um... What, 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 the, 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 the usual, the usual, yes, yes, of, of course, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the usual, <laughs> the, the usual, yes, uh, ab, 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 positively, yes, the, the usual, uh, uh, usual, writer, the, the, the journalist, short story, you can read my surreal, the, 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 I don't know. Oh no, the usual. Oh, oh no. <laughs> ah, I um. Hmm. 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 The usual. Hmm. I don't. I. I, I don't. The, mm, okay. <laughs> oh boy. Right. The usual. Um. I will be right back. Ah, yes! Triple shot espresso! Okay, not like I, I uh, suffered uh, the ill effects of not playing for a while and forgetting and then having to look it up as a reference. Yes, of course. Triple shot espresso. Uh, just coffee, coffee, coffee. Oh, God, the mess. There we go, espresso. Your espresso is ready. Hmm, as good as usual. Glad you like it. 
Wait, a minute. You do look familiar. Okay. Are you in a pop group? Are you Rachel Fl Florencia? The member of Super Smiles who just graduated? And started her solo career? Uh-huh. You're not a lost cause after all, Grandma. That brings us back to my first question. What the hell are you doing here? Drinking milk. <laughs> I'm serious. But you can see it, but you can see it with your own eyes, right? I'm really here to drink milk. <laughs> How come this coffee shop attracts so many weird people? Well, while we do have a lot of unusual customers, this is the first time we've had a famous celebrity visit. At uh, to drink milk, no less. Yay, achievement unlocked. No, seriously. Why are you here? Well, you know... The usual young folks' problems. I had a fight with my father. And so, here I am. Ah, I see. But is it okay for a celebrity like you to, uh, to be out alone this late? You know, you don't need to worry about me. I can turn into a cat. <laughs> now I'm really worried. Anyway, what what happened? My dad. We got into an argument. He doesn't like my line of work. He always saw my profession as something negative. But I love what I'm doing. What about your mother? What are her thoughts on your career choice? Eh. She passed away a few years ago. Aw. I'm sorry to hear that. It's alright. Your dad know anything about the entertainment industry? He used to work in showbiz decades ago. So yeah, he does know a thing or two. Uh, oh, it's a full house today. Uh, hello? Hey, I was Georgie. Good evening, Jim. Good evening, girls I've never met before. <laughs> I just saw you yesterday. Just kidding, Freya. Anyway, Jim. Yes, officer. I need something for my sore throat. Can you get can you get a brother a cup of green tea with lemon and honey? You got it. Green tea with lemon and honey. Uh green tea with lemon and honey. There we are. Cough syrup! <laughs> there you go. Your special drink is ready. Well, well, well. What do we have here? It's my special cough syrup. What do you call it? Uh, c uh c a cough syrup. <laughs> of course you do. <laughs> Let's see whether this drink tastes as good as it smells. Huh? Huh? Damn. This is great. Yes. Uh, how's your day going? Anything out of the ordinary on your patrol? Yeah. Anything interesting today? Actually, I witnessed something scary on my shift today. Tell me, tell me. You sure you want to hear it? Yes. <laughs> the scary thing I witnessed was my salary. <laughs> oh no, it's got sad real fast. Why are you smoking? You got a sore throat. 
Seriously? Yeah, today is payday. And I checked the ATM during my shift. Such a horrible sight. Other than that and the labor union protest, everything is fine, though. How can you say it's fine? We got a young celebrity lurking around by herself. Ain't that strong proof? Wait, ain't that strong proof that this area is safe? Hey. Oh, hi. Yes, hello. Thank you for the drink and the place to sit. I'm going back now. Oh, uh, thank you for coming. I hope to see you again. You look awesome. I uh, hope you enjoyed your time. Uh-huh. Bye. Oh, she didn't say much. What the hell was that? She just sat there and read. Well, I'm sure that's pretty normal in a coffee shop. I mean, you always do that when here when you're writing. I guess you're right. Well, I guess you're right. <laughs> anyway, where were we? Oh, yes. What are you doing here, young lady? It's pretty late, you know. I don't have anywhere else to go. And this place looked cozy. I see. So you basically wanted to go to a bar. But you're underage, right? How did you know? You can read my you can read minds now, old man. I have a daughter around her age. It's easy to translate what they say. Especially when you have to deal with them every day. I don't know why you're here. But everything's gonna be okay. You can forget all of your problems while you're here. Dude, you're a cop. It's not his job to take care of someone else's daughter. He is a, he's a cop! <laughs> That's exactly his job! <laughs> Relax, Freya. Don't be so uptight. Yeah. Mr. Policeman here made me feel much safer already. You know it yourself, Freya. This place is very safe. Right, Officer Georgie? <laughs> of course. This is the safest place around here. Hey, that endorsement comes with a discount, right? <laughs> <laughs> Could be that way. <laughs> You're a cop, old man. Act like one. I deal with crimes and public safety. How should I know how to handle someone else's daughter? <gasps> you should know. You're a father yourself. Oh. <laughs> right. Guys, you know I can hear you, right? Really? See, Freya? She's got good hearing. That should help her protect herself. Anyway, Miss... Uh... Rachel. Miss Rachel, what brings you here? As I've told the others, I had a fight with my dad. <laughs> Uh, uh oh, ha ha! <laughs> Why are you laughing? Me and my daughter fight every day. Hey, why would you say that? Because it's true. I fought a lot with my kids. That's normal. In fact, whenever we finish arguing about something, we become closer as a family. Huh? Because when things have calmed down, I learn something about them. And they learn something about me as well. As long as we don't have to leave things unresolved, an argument makes things better. But it happens so often. Tonight was just one among countless others. It wasn't like this before. 
before it happened. You mean before your solo career? No, before mom passed away. What happens after each fight? Hmm. Nothing. We just don't talk about it. Until another fight starts. Unresolved problems are dangerous. It ain't easy. But you gotta understand each other better. And as much as I hate to admit it, conflict is always the best way to know someone. Even your own blood. But it was never this bad when mom was around. She's the only one who understood me. And she also understood your father. Maybe he and your mom also had arguments. But your mom acted as a mediator between the two of you. That's possible. Now that mom's gone, I don't have anyone to act as my guardian. And your dad, he lost his best negotiator. Wait a second. You said this happened a lot. But why did you run this time? My daughter never ran away. Wait. Maybe it's because I'm the one who always ran away. Using my job as an excuse. I can confirm that. Yeah, I run here a lot. <laughs> Freya. But yeah, I hate to tell you again. You both gotta resolve your issues. Unresolved problems are dangerous. In any relationship. I kinda understand what you're going through. What you're going through, Rachel. I also ran away when I was younger. Are you on good terms with your parents now? I am. When, when and how did it happen? To be honest, I'm not even sure myself. It just happened. Maybe I should run even farther. I mean, I have my own income. I don't need to rely on my dad. Yeah, I, I wouldn't recommend that. Why? I'm an adult. No adult would ever say I'm an adult. Just give yourself time to think, Miss Rachel. And try to understand your father's perspective. I'm sure both of you will be able to solve this. Like adults. You don't need to rush to a decision. I'm not sure about that. Just take your time. But now... Now I would recommend you just go home. It's really late. I need to go home as well. I can give you a ride. But... You don't need to talk to your father right away. Just go straight to your room. At least knowing you're safe at home will give him some peace. I will allow him to think more clearly about everything. Aww. <laughs> you're right. You really... <laughs> you really are a cop, Georgie. Of course I am. So, where do you live, Miss Rachel? In the western part of Neko Town. Oh. <laughs> That's quite far. You're still going to drive me home, right? <laughs> They're both judging you. Old man. Of course I will. Should I drive you home too, Miss Freya? No, you don't have to. I'm riding my bike. Are you sure? 100% sure. Okay, we'll be off then. We'll be off then. Thank you, Jim and Freya. Hey, a little wink. Take care on your way home. See you around, Jim. Wow. 
And there they went. Yes. You can stay longer if you want. Nah, it's fine. I also have to call it a day. How's the writing, by the way? It's getting there. That's nice to hear. I'm juggling a lot of work, though. Barely made my deadlines. I don't know if I can keep this up. Well, why don't you just come clean? I'll let, tell your boss about the publishing offer. Who knows? Maybe she'll understand. Yeah, right. Great job, Freya. Here, take some money. Go take a vacation and finish your novel. In your dreams. I'm not exactly employee of the month. Well, you, you never know. You never know. I might end up on the chopping block. Oh, the pressure. I'm sure about one thing, though. This coffee shop has a lot of stories to tell. So, yeah, I'll probably be back tomorrow. The door's always open for you. Ha ha ha! I bet it is. Okay, then. Take care. Uh, be careful on your way home. Wow, what an eventful day. Black lemon. A perfect, if unlikely, combination of sour and bitter. Huh. Is that just coffee with a lemon wedge? Wow. We're going into day two next time there. Friday, September 25th, 2020. Uh. Yeah. There we go. All right, what do we got here? The, the Evening Whispers, Friday, September 25th, 2020. Werewolf activists imprisoned for owning illegal fury sedative. Oh. The Orcish Workers Union in talks with government over their pleas. Rap group Streak Orchestra questioned over their pro-eco-terrorism lyrics. Oh, okay. Um, ah! I didn't mean to do that. Let's save... You go to the main menu. Yay. There we go. Yeah. So that was uh, this episode of uh, Coffee Talk. Met new uh, someone new. Apparently, uh, th there's a race of Necromenies. I didn't even know that was a thing. Uh, and uh, yeah. Yeah. Pretty much. Uh, I'm very interested in seeing if any of these stories for these characters tie in or if they're literally just their own um, thing. I do like the prospect of possibly having the characters that um, haven't interacted before interacting with each other, like Georgie and, and, and Rachel and uh, that orc, cool looking orc woman. I hope we get to see more of her as well. And uh, gee, man, it, uh, I was rooting for Freya, but I'm actually a little concerned about how she's going to do with her writing thing because it looks like she's getting a little overwhelmed. So. Hey, we're going to find out what happens more on our next episode of Coffee Talk. Remember, if you want to know when the next video comes out, subscribe to the channel and you'll get alerted when the next one does indeed come out. And if you wish, look down below and uh, drop down a uh, comment. Uh, uh, let me know how I'm doing or uh, you have a suggestion for something or if you just want to say hi, go on ahead and uh, let me know. And uh, yeah. Thank you for joining me on this venture, and remember, as always, stay safe and keep on gaming!